because every planet acts like an intelligence inside of you, but that intelligence can be very conscious or it can be sort of ignorant and unconscious. You know, we could say something can express itself in a shadow way, darker way, or very light and positive or beneficial way for the world. And so, <clears throat> uh, so, so I started studying, um, you know, with my parents' charts, and then uh, over the last, you know, eight years, my professional practice. I've written two books now. Um, te teach a lot of online courses and travel and teach and do do readings primarily. Um, so in terms of why I started to care so much about parenting is um, I, I'm not a parent, um, but um, I honor and you know respect every parent that's sitting here right now and every parent in the world because I think it's the hardest job in the world, but it can be the most rewarding job. And I think that most parents probably want every tool they can have to, to help them guide, guide their children and, and, and to really um, be totally involved and to get out of the way at the same time. You know, so the kids can mature into the, the fullness of their, their expressions in the most positive way. So I realized that, that we have a map here. And most parents want a map, some kind of instruction manual. <laughs> yeah. And and so, um, <clears throat> in my own life, when I look back at my chart, um, you know, I, I'm a musician. Um, I play guitar and I do some uh, a lot of composition with piano and strings and things like that. Uh, but I didn't grow up that way. And uh, it, it kind of came later in my teens uh, that I chose to start working on music. But there wasn't really a value system in my family. And um, when I started to look into the planet Mercury, which we're going to talk about here, the planet Mercury represents how we think, the patterns of uh, perception inside of us. You know, some, you hear like, you know, some kids are very kinesthetic, right? Or some kids, uh, you know, uh, they learn through caring for things, taking care of things, nurturing things, right? Um, some kids are very emotional, very sensitive. Some are very fantastic. Well, Mercury shows us how our mind operates. And in my chart, the planet Mercury is in the sign of Taurus. And um, we've been in this Taurus season right now. You know, it's all about the earth and being in nature, being in the garden, and dance, and music. It's a springtime energy. That's what Taurus represents. Well, <clears throat> that wasn't part of my upbringing at all. I didn't have any any nature. We never went hiking or camping or connected in any way with, with the earth element. It was very suburban upbringing. And I also didn't have any music. Um, we didn't listen to a lot of music. It wasn't like, it just wasn't appreciated in my family. And so I, I recognized, you know, when I sit at the piano now um, and I don't read music, but that there's like a composer inside of me who is sort of delayed his development and it's sometimes hard for me it sometimes feels like a like a wound and I don't want those kinds of wounds for the next generation I, I want to give a parents the tools so they can provide the languages of possibility and potential for their kids from the very beginning from day one when they're being imprinted as even a little infant and so <clears throat> um, I don't regret or resent my parents or anything like that, but I also know that they weren't working with the tools that, that are available now. So um, in the last couple of years, I've also been integrating, in addition to astrology, um, a system called human design, which uh, is a channeled system that came through in the, in the mid-80s that actually links together four different systems, astrology, uh, the I Ching, which is the 64 hexagrams of the, the Taoist oracle that was 5,000 years old. And then the Tree of Life from the Kabbalah, the mystical Judaic tradition, and also the, the, the Hindu chakra system. And it really is a system that shows us the patterns of energy in our genes. Um, it's incredibly insightful and shows where we're working very uh, consistently in a defined and reliable way in our life and also where we're being influenced or conditioned by our parents, by our children, by people in our environment, or by situations around us. So we're going to talk about that system in the second half tonight. Um, 
<clears throat> the first we'll talk about astrology. So I want to kind of introduce everyone to what's possible here and go into what other parts of, of charts besides knowing someone's sun sign you can use when you're a parent. And uh, if you feel inspired, you know that we can talk more, we can set up readings and things like that. I've developed a coaching program for parents as well because there's too much information. You know, like sitting for you know, 90 minutes is not going to cover the, the soul of, of, of a new child or something like that. <laughs> so, um, but but any, any bits of, of um, insight and uh, any of these uh, pieces that you can take from today or readings uh, in the future will be helpful to, 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 raising, to raising these children.